one thing that, that God showed me is like a lot of like our issues come from a source that source is like trauma or an event, a hurt, right? But then how it's expressed in our daily life is very different. And I feel like for me, it's this thing of like, this is where God created us to be. This is like a humble frame of mind. We're humble. You know, I'm just as bright of a light as you are. There's a beauty that you have that I can't imitate and vice versa. And that's the same with all of God's children. And that's where we're supposed to be. But almost none of us are here <laughs> because some of us feel insecure. And so for me, when I was insecure, there's this line of where God's like, this is where I want you to be. This is where I created you to be. And I'm like feeling like I'm down here. Like, I don't know if you could see it, but I'm feeling mm -hmm. down here. Mm -hmm. But because I'm feeling less than, I want, I don't want to be here. I want to be here. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I become prideful. So a lot of times we think, oh, you know, I'm insecure. I can't be prideful. And what I feel like God has taught me is prideful is when you focus on yourself more than you should. And so to me, being insecure is a form of self-centeredness. And I know, like, if you're listening, that may have hurt a little bit. I get it because it hurt when I heard it too. But it's this sense of like, I was so focused on myself and how I'm broken and I'm this and poor me and da -da -da, you know, that I couldn't even open my eyes to see the beauty of every single person around me. And like how, you know, like Peggy, you're really bright. Even when you talk about serious issues, like you are very, you're a very bright person and you have this, like, like when you talk, I noticed I was telling my husband, I'm like when Peggy talks, she'll like pause and then she'll share a thought and then she'll pause, let it sink in for you and for her. And then she'll, you know what I mean? And so like, I just think everyone has their thing like that. I don't know if the word is like, je ne sais quoi. like, you know, when you hear it in French or whatever, like that X factor, that something that like moves another person emotionally or in their motivation or whatever. And I feel like for so long, I was so focused on how I wasn't enough that I didn't realize like the beauty that was around me. And there was um, a moment in a book, I forget the book's name, to be honest, I'll, I'll find it and I'll send it to you. But there's a moment where God kind of showed me that whole like insecurity, self-centeredness. And I was like, oh, like, I don't want to, I don't want to be like that, you know? And so then it was just a process of appreciating other people. And when I started, this is crazy. I don't want to get emotional. Cut it out, Patricia. Cut it out. Okay. Like when I started seeing how beautiful other people are in their quirks, in their faultiness, in their issues, like when you see the beauty in other people, you start to recognize like, hey, there's a little spark in me too. Like there's a little bit of beauty in me too. And I think that was a big part of it. Um, yeah, I think that was a big part of, of it. And there's also the process of, you know, spending a lot of time with God. Mm -hmm. You become like the people you hang out with. And Jesus is not insecure. Jesus is not aggressive the way I was. He's not angry. He's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not, he doesn't have imposter syndrome. Like, yeah. and so... If you want to be more confident, if you want to be loving and selfless and other centered and be a servant, like spend time with the one who's a source of all of that. And you become like him. Like I literally, when they say prayer closet, I kid you not, I'm looking at my closet right now. I literally shut the door. Nothing else exists in those moments. Mm -hmm. And when I can have those moments to where I can like feel his presence, it's like, it doesn't, the world could be falling apart on the outside, but like I get to be at peace and it's like a cycle, you know, like I recognize beauty in others and therefore I feel better about myself. And then I go to Jesus and I'm like, oh, thank you for this. And therefore I can see recognize better in others. And therefore, you know what I mean? Like it's a cycle that you just keep at it. And so I don't know yeah. if that helps, but no, it absolutely helps for me. It's my gray chair and I can, 
I can physically, it's like there are physical arms of Christ wrapping around me when I sit in that mm-hmm. space, because that's the space where I sat so long with him while I was on my healing journey, where I really let him in those places that I never let anyone in before. And I can, I mean, I, my chair's right over here and mm-hmm. I can look at that chair and it's, it's physical. It has nothing to do really other yeah. than that's the place. And that's the space where I set still and whatever that space and place for anyone is, maybe it's while you're driving in your car and you turn yeah. off the radio and you let there be that silence in that space, but whatever it is, we can all get to that space of healing if we'll just allow space for christ in our lives it's it's amazing the things that he can do to just transform and heal in those places oh, i love 